Al, it's time to take a look back at what Liella is doing this week. Yes. They got stuff to do. They mm-hmm. got a show to perform. Mm-hmm. They got to get back in the saddle again. Yeah, they got to they gotta figure out who they are post Kanan leaving. Yes, exactly. That's, uh, that's what we're going to talk about here this week on Jared and Al Watch Love Life Superstar. It is episode number 27. I'm Jared, joined as always by Doc Al and Lady Um. Hello. We are discussing season three, episode number three, entitled The White Colored Center. Even though she has blue hair. Yeah, but isn't her, like, color, like, white, gray? Uh... (laughs) Isn't she the white, gray one? Ice green, white. What the f*** is ice green, white? Ice green, white, of course. That sounds like a Gatorade flavor. (laughs) That does sound like a Gatorade flavor! (laughs) You're so right. So, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, like you said, this episode kind of revolves around uh, the aftermath of last week's episode, uh, where Wien's new group is getting a lot of buzz from uh, their performance and everything. They do not get to perform in the uh, the special festival that Liel is performing in because they did not get enough votes. But there's like, all right, we're just moving on. We are Wien's very focused on blinders the, on the Love Live. Love Live is her goal. She wants to win Love Live, and that's you know what she's shooting for. So if like they don't get to perform at that other thing, who cares? Love Live is what we're aiming for. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the girls of Liel are also just like, wow, they're getting a lot of buzz. A lot of people are really liking this new Idol Club group. And then Cuckoo like freaks out, like they're gonna become the new Le- new Ella. New Ella. <laughs> and it's weird. They're just. We see a, a like a shot of them just like making letters. There's a there's a shot of Kanon making an E. That's all I it's remember. It's so weird. Like the legs are up in the air and somebody's upside down and yeah, you know. But yeah, they realize, hey, we uh we can't just be uh riding on the you know the aftermath of winning Love Live and just resting on our laurels and all that sort of stuff. Like they're if they're gonna be out performing like that, we gotta step our game up and you know show that hey, we're still no slouches. We are the defending champions for a reason, and you know hey, don't forget about us. We are still Liella. Uh, but of mm-hmm. course, like like you said, they have to deal with you know they don't have Khan on. This is a new era for this group and everything. So like you know, what do you do with your first big performance in the post Khan uh, on Exodus era, essentially? And Chisato's like, we need a new center. Let's get a second year out there. Let's put Shiki out front, and she's the center. And everyone's like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, and basically, they also put, like, the, the second years in charge of this new song and everything. Um, so, yeah, this episode is essentially the uh, rival rivalries make us grow and also have confidence episode. Have confidence. Have confidence. No confidence. A, uh... I mean, this is a, a a trope that we are very familiar with in this series. Of course, they've done this, you know, quite a few times with like the 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 less outgoing characters. You know, they get to get their their time to shine and show that they can have a little bit of confidence, essentially. Hmm. Hanamaro got one. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget the uh, the Muse gal. The Rin episode. Yes, thank you. Um. I don't know that we got on EG. They're all fairly kind of, confident. Kind of with Rena. Kind of, yeah. But like Rena also has a lot going on. It's not just a yeah, confidence yeah, yeah. issue. No, yeah, yeah um, but it's like it's adjacent ish. It it is adjacent ish. Uh, but you know, Rena was like at home crying in a box by herself. Yes, true. Um, so you know, Rena Rena had some other things happening there. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, it, it's like the normal episode we get, and, and in the same vein as like Hanamaru. Uh, you know, Ruby was like, you got this, you can do mm-hmm. this. Um, we get the same thing here. You got that friend character who's like gassing the other character up and be like, yeah, you got this, you can do this, you can do this. Even while the other character's like, oh, it's like worries me and you at each other. True. That's not, you're not wrong. Yeah. Like you think you can't do something I'm like, by God, you can do it. I believe in you. Mm-hmm. And vice versa. If I can't do it, you're like, no, you can do it. I know you can. I've seen you do it before. You're the best. It's true. So yeah, that's yep. that's the uh, the gist of this episode. Uh, Shiki goes and sees the practice of Wien and 
con on and just kind of like, oh, like, you know, they're like, they got, they exude an aura, essentially, that I don't necessarily have. That's a little worrisome. And also the big thing for her is that, like, hey, this is our first big outing, our first big new song since everything's changed and everything. And, like, I got to be out front in the center, like, A, already, like, you know, I don't, I'm not necessarily confident enough to be the center, essentially. And B, like, that's a lot of pressure on me to, like, be out there and showcase this new version of a, of our group and everything. Like, this is a lot to put on me. So, like, she's yeah. got those two things, you know, going against her in terms of, like, you know, if she actually wants to do this or not. You know, we see her, like, escape after she faints on stage. Well, not, like, actually, like, what, not when they're performing, but they just, like, put her out there, like, here's how it feels to be center. And she's like, honk shoo. Honk shoo. And then she turns into a plushie. She turns into a plushie and everything. Uh... Imagine having that ability. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. May is just like we said, trying to gas her up. She's like, you know, you could do this. You, I believe in you and everything. And she's like, yo, dude, I don't know. Ugh. I don't know about that. <laughs> and also, Shisato's kind of just like dealing with like this being her first big decisions as like the president in terms of like, you know, in this new era, in terms of like, it's like, am I making the right call here? Is this, is this going to work and everything? Am I putting too much pressure on her? Yeah. And like, she, she runs into, she goes to see, uh, Kanan and she walks in on them. Well, she doesn't walk in, but she kind of cracks the door and hears a conversation between her and we and like, they're arguing about, uh, Tamari not going to practice and <laughs> all of that. And Kanan's just like, look, we're good because we have different colors and we're different people and, you know, we shine differently and we come together or we make something special. And that's how these types of groups work and everything. And just thought it was like, hmm, yes, colors, mm, yes. differences. Yes, I think I get it. And then just leaves and doesn't say anything. Yeah. And then they have like a meeting the next day where like Shiki's kind of just like hold herself up in the science lab and kind of just like, I don't really want to do this. And everyone and Cuckoo's struggling with her, her shirt. And there's like, do we want to like switch out centers and everything? Cuckoo gets stuck with like the whitest neck sweatshirt I've ever seen in my life. It's like, how did she not get that thing. over her head? <laughs> But yeah, they, they eventually are kind of like, ah, maybe we should switch up. But then Shisato's like, no. She she balls her fists up. It makes the leather noise. He's like, I want her to be the sinner. Urgh. And then May, May runs into the science lab and opens the curtains. Is like, I will be your shadow if it's too bright. You can do this. I will be there with you and everything. We'll <laughs> write this song together. And she's like, oh, okay, I guess. While the sure. other girls just stand outside, like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, and then they go to the performance and they perform a new song called Special Color. Like, also, I guess we should mention, man, a lot of this episode is <laughs> boy, howdy, the May Shiki uh, shippers are, are feasting this week. They are, they are eating good. Yes. <laughs> uh, I even mentioned, like, at one point, during the episode, I'm like, is is this actually queer, or is this, like, the queer baiting stuff that Love Live loves to do, and you just said yes. I, look, like, a lot of that <laughs> stuff in this episode is, like, you know, it is not, it is very blatant, and also, like, they're doing a song about colors, and the background's all, like, rainbow colors, like, hmm. May has Shiki straight up touch her boob, like, they, yeah. they, they have the whole, like, oh, it's my heartbeat. It's like, no, that's just straight up her boob. Like, if you're trying to feel the heart heartbeat you would put it more in the middle but nope just touch my booba yeah so that that was a whole thing yeah yeah i mean you know good for them good for the shippers have fun yeah so yeah they perform the song uh we and kanan and tomari show up to watch and everything uh everything goes well everyone's very excited about this new version of liella they got their groove back um and the the rivalry between them and uh Tomo Kanate grows. I did like at the end where like the, the performance ends and like we end just like sitting there just like stone faces like Con on let's go practice. Like yeah, she knows practice. like oh they've gotten better we gotta we gotta step our game up <laughs> as well. Let's go. <laughs> yeah let's do it. Yeah. Rivalry. Rivalry. Iron sharpens iron. Let's go. <laughs> I did also think it was funny at one point they're like a lot of the episode they're arguing over um little sister like not coming to any practices yeah <laughs> and um at one point margaret's like 
well, what about the love line? Conan's like, well, she doesn't really actually care about the love of life at all like she, she just doesn't she said she'll show up whenever she wants to i also there's a point where like she, she uh, rian calls tamari just like oh, that first year just doesn't want to come to practice and kind of just like looks at her is like yo you're, you're also, also a first year, first year. <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> this is very good but yeah uh really funny. A lot of a lot of growth of the rivalry this week, and Shiki also gets growth as well as she gets confidence. And she's like, "Wow, I can be a center. This is cool. I'm gonna pass out on stage again. Yay! Ooh, yay! Uh, but yeah, that's our episode. Mm-hmm. So uh, we have our NHKE broadcast exclusive end card itself, Liella. Wow, yeah, you could have seen that coming. That's about it. Next time, we will be discussing Season 3, Episode Number 4, entitled No Rain, No Rainbow. Baby Metal. I doubt they're going to perform the Baby Metal song, but, you know, maybe they will. That'd be I mean, pretty That'd be cool. fun. Yeah, that'd, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be really fun. It's a good song. It's a really good song. So we'll see how what's going on now. Or I don't know where I was going with that. Next we'll, time. We'll see what happens next time uh, mm-hmm. with these two groups as they continue their path towards Love Live and... Uh, their path against each other, essentially. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's going to do it for us this week, though. If you'd like more from us, head on over to SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com or SAC.cool, where you can find past episodes of this podcast and other podcasts like Seasonal Anime Checkup OVA. You'll also find columns and reviews on the site as well. If you'd like more from Anne Ladium, go to AnneLadium.com. She's got columns and reviews. Follow us on Twitter and TikTok at Anime Checkup. Follow us on Blue Sky at SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com. Uh, you can buy our books, One Shiny Moment, a critical analysis of Love, Life, Sunshine, and Hot Tubs and Pac-Man on Amazon.com. And support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash SACOVA. Mm-hmm. So join us next time as it's going to be very sunny with no rain and no rainbows. Cool.